looking at a fan favorite and my personal favorite Bionicle set of all times, and this is my review of set number 8734 Brutaka. Contains 193 pieces. This set once retailed for just a simply $20. Now, if you want this thing just used, you're paying up to $130. And if you want this brand new sealed, it's $500 to $600. This thing is not cheap. This thing is a juggernaut. And I understand why, because this thing is actually awesome. I did manage to actually buy this brand new. However, I did not get a box because, well, I had to cut costs somewhere. So, unfortunately, there's not much to actually look at because there's no box. It's just the instruction manual so obviously you can see what's on the front it's just brutaka in his action pose looking all imposing of course you can see the silhouette of voy nui in the background and also there's just the logo of brutaka on the side so that's really about it with that if there was a box you get three number bags two blades and an instruction manual with your typical advertising material nothing too fancy with that brutaka is a powerful warrior in the order of mata nui he briefly betrayed the order to help out the Paraka in exchange for Xamarin Spheres full of Antidermers, which made him more powerful. However, he would lose all of his power due to being shot with a Xamor by Thok and Hakan. Pretty ironic. With all that being said, it is time for a speed build, so I will see you all after the build. After 25 minutes later, Brutaka is complete, and I must say, he looks amazing. First, I want to start off the color scheme, 
absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I think he's the actual first Bionicle to introduce the new Pearl Gold in Bionicle. Because I don't see this color in the previous years. This is the first time me seeing it in Bionicle, which is in 2006. And it seems like Brutaka is the first to actually introduce this color into the theme. Because his color scheme is amazing. It's, it's super good. Like, the dark blue and the... And the gold it's like it's a very consistent color scheme like i can't say anything bad about it even if i wanted to which i don't want to because this is a great set it has great colors i mean this thing from head to toe looks absolutely amazing starting off with the feet of brutaka and these look really good like unlike with axon in the previous review that his feet looked at kind of like i said it had like all these uh technic beams and just, it didn't really look good, but Brutaka's, his looks good. It's look detailed. It looks like, you know, that's like his foot. It doesn't look like just attacked on Technic Beams and stuff. And we get a Paraka foot in Pearl Gold, which I think that's the new recover for this. And we get some Rahi pieces in there even, because I can see the at the top it's some Rahi pieces. And it's in the new Pearl Gold color, so that's really good. And Borak Eyes in Gold, I mean, I know this set... Really had some valuable pieces in those colors, so it looks really good. And Butaka deserves it because he's such a cool set. So, yeah, his feet looks really good. I mean, I, there's not much to say because it's really good. It's really stable. It has some great stability. Even though sometimes on really smooth surfaces, if you try to pose him, he does kind of slide ever so slightly. But that's probably because I don't know how to pose figures too well. But I think that, yeah, his feet does slide a bit sometimes. Moving further along, we get to his legs. And his legs look really good. They look really beefy, girthy. He looks powerful. He looks like, you know, like some track star. I mean, he looks like his legs are really strong. Like he, does, he actually does squats. He does not skip leg day. Brutaka does not skip leg day. He looks... Really good, and of course the knee brace slash pistons, if you want to call it that, but I'm calling it the knee brace. You know, of course, got the stability. I think this set was what they had in mind for the um, pistons for the back leg support because they work so good because it's so good for him. It's so stable. It looks, and plus it just makes him look better. I always like how it looks. It makes the Titans look more big and titany. Of course, that's not a word, but it looks good and you know the the way they have the legs look it's super armored up it has a lot of stuff going on for it it's really good now i will say the one bad part is that the space in between his legs are a bit kind of open like you can see this big long gray axle rod in between the legs like where everything is connected around it you can see the axle rod in between so it is a bit unfortunate that you can see that, but I don't really think that's too much of a hindrance. It's like a tiny, itty bitty nitpick, but that's like the tiniest thing. Overall, the legs look really good. It's really well built and I just like it. Moving a bit further along, we get to his arms and his back area with his really cool looking blade pieces and daggers, if you will. I think that's what it's called. Regardless, it's really good because he has like built-in weapons on him. So he has like almost like four arms. Remember like General Grievous or something when he pulls him out. It's so, so cool. And I love that so much. And it's such a nice feature that I don't even, I don't like to mess with it too much. Actually, I kind of like to just keep it on his, like on his back because it just makes his, you know, his, you know, lats look a bit bigger. So I just kind of like that look like that. So I really don't like to pull out the um, arms too much. But it does look good now the arms like the like his actual arms are a bit small though like axon did have some really big powerful arms too bad they just couldn't hold up but for butaka his arms are well kind of small like he doesn't really do much pull-ups or bench presses with that he, he, he's or, or push-ups nothing he just he, he's not really worried about their arms too much i mean they're a bit weak so Unfortunately, his arms, it's, it's a very simple build. It's like a one, two, three, you, you got the arms. It's no real, like, nothing really too much involved with that. But um, his chest area is really detailed. It got a, a recolor of the Hordika foot in gold and this recolored Viserac 
cloth piece in dark blue. I don't think it's a recolor. That's actually just just a blue Viserac cloth piece. But looks really good. Like the back is really amazingly detailed with the gold tubings. That's so nice. That's it's such a cool look. I mean, I'm, I'm just gushing over this, but he looks amazing. His arms are a bit weak though, however, but everything else is so good. I just love it so much. And moving on to the head. Now, the mask, the new molded mask, the Great Kanoe Olmec, which has the power of dimensional shifting, whatever he can travel through dimensions and portals through different places. So it looks really good because it got this really wide and big, powerful look. Like it kind of reminds me of like the old Toanuva mask. Like it's like really chunky and big and it looks, you know, powerful. I couldn't imagine another mold for it because like it fits him so well and then it just looks so good I think that's just like the best part of him is the mask I love it so much and of course he actually uses the Metro head thank god because if they use some new mold of head I just I don't know but the, yeah they're, they're really going with the old Metro heads for this because it's just the best design so looks really good obviously of course, he has great articulation. I forgot to mention that. He has great articulation, like, throughout. He is, like, the perfect figure. He's, like, he feels like an action figure. Like, you're building him up. He's weighty. He feels like, you know, an action figure by, like, it's, like, you know, you almost forget that he's even, like, a Lego. He's legit just, like, an action figure that you just, you know, you would pick up from, like, a Walmart or something. So, of course, you buy him from Walmart. But what I'm saying is... He doesn't feel like a Lego almost. He's just he's so well detailed that he, you almost forget, oh yeah, this is a Lego. Because of course you have to build it, but it's so good. And he just feels so good to have the hold in your hands to to play with. Like, you know, you can actually like play with this and not worry about like pieces falling off too much. Now, the tubes probably would probably kind of bend or mess up over time but that's really about it but there's no pieces that are gonna fall off of this thing this thing is really compact and tightly together so I really do enjoy that so this just really good set just really good that's but certainly not least let's talk about the big huge weapon that he has is this two like dual-sided basically like huge blades and it looks really awesome it's just has this really crazy jagged look in the back like it's really sharp and just like you know from any angle he's going to shred you into actual pieces it's such a cool and unique looking weapon that i wish they would use more honestly because it's such a cool weapon design that they could use this for other sets but they don't and i guess that makes it cool for protagonist it's like it's exclusive to him i know i think in hero fact that they reuse that blade piece and like in black looks really cool but i don't think they reuse this piece in bionicle so he's the only one that has it but it's so good that i wish they used it in other sets but it's a really nice design now it's not as i don't think it's as iconic as axon's weapon because it's just a huge axe but i think it's still really good so what i'm saying is it's it's good it's it's a good weapon final thoughts what do i think of brutaka even though if it wasn't already obvious in the entire review, he's amazing. Like, the best Bionicle set in all of Bionicle, in my opinion, of course. But I genuinely think that he is so good. He is so well done and well made. And it's in great color scheme and play in not really play features, but just so fun to play with because he just feels like an action figure. But... Yeah, this guy is absolutely incredible. I cannot recommend him enough to any Bionicle fan. If you do not have him, please get him. He is getting more expensive as time goes on because everyone is starting to see how valuable and how awesome he is. So if you can find him for a good deal, please actually get him because he is so worth getting. Now, you don't have to get it brand new. You can just get it used. So... It's kind of at your own discretion of how you want it. I wanted it brand new. If I was going to get any set brand new, this was going to be the one. I was going to get brand new. I don't care how much it costs. I did get it from a good deal, though. I did actually get a good deal for him. But 
that's not that is besides the point. I say get him. The score I give him, I give Rutaka a 9.8. He is this close to perfection. He is like right there on the 10 rating. Like he is the highest set I have uh, I ranked in all of my reviews. He is a standout. Get him. What are you doing if you don't? But those have been my thoughts. Tell me what's down in the comments and because I read every single comment. And with that, I will bid you all adieu. New giants from Bionicle. Brutak is a mighty warrior, but a traitor. Axon is strong and a brave defender of justice. Once they were friends. Now they're enemies. But both are fighting against the vicious spider. His ruthless master. Pizan's Pizan. got the mask, but Fenrak's got the teeth. And they're hungry for battle. New giants from Bionicle. Each set so separately.